The Belt Huskies have ran wild through wind, rain, and snow this season as they prepare to face the other dominant dogs of eight-man, the St. Ignatius Bulldogs. Both teams are undefeated, but only one can be crowned the state champion. Will it be the Never Have I Ever Bulldogs who are making their first championship appearance in program history? Or will it be the Huskies that end a nearly three-decade drought and add a second title to their name after 28 long years? The Huskies' road to the championship came with its share of adversity before the season even started, when they found out just two weeks before camp that after 15 years, the program would have a new head coach in Matt Triplett. Since week one, they've met every challenge, including a signature win over rival Fort Benton and giving teams like Joliet their first loss of the season. Through it all, the Belt Huskies have proven themselves week after week with one more game and one more challenge standing between them and history. Belt Husky football is bleeding. It's been founded in, since Coach Graham's days, and our motto through just years is believing. If we believe in the guy next to us, we're going to do just fine. It just shows all the work that we put in in two days, and then just everything up to this point. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Got a credit to most of the coaches. They've gotten after us the whole year. We knew we had the potential to make it, and we're just ready. Championship would mean a lot. It'd bring the title back to Belt. We're going to do our job, and we're gonna, not going to stop until we get that championship. Belt takes on St. Ignatius for the eight-man state championship Saturday at 1 p.m. From Belt, Richard Tiemann, SWX.